AMT Ertl's 1957 Chevrolet Corvette Street Machine coming up next on What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, 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 once again, shooby doo -wah. We're talking about the 1957 Chevrolet Corvette Street Machine. Look at this huge blower and these cool wheels. This was one of the 1990s style street machines where they were able to put drag racing bits into regular production cars. So that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Let's go down and open up the lid and see what's in the box. All right, all right, all right. Now we're going to examine the 57 Corvette Street Machine by AMT Ertl. So let's rip the top off this bad boy and see what's in it. Now to start with, we've got these great 57 Street Machine instructions. Which show this really awesome big block Chevy going together with a lot of detail, much like the Ravel kits. Good stuff that gets covered over by valve covers. <laughs> then separate interior panels and these really wicked wheels, big wide ones at the back. Independent suspension components. And look at those headers on there. Four piece radiator. Nice body detail, pretty cool. Even shows you how to paint the dashboard. Now let's look at the plastic in here. So we start with this very nice body. The identical to the stock version of this kit, including the fuel injection symbols on the side. Then we have our windshield nicely wrapped up in here so it doesn't scratch. There's our two sizes of tires, fat and skinnies, and they are good years. Then we have our chrome. Now I'm not going to take this out of the bag, but there's this big manifold here for four barrel holly or something. Very nicely done. And here comes our interior, or our, yeah, interior and the hood with that huge hole in there. And this is a two piece hood scoop that you glue together and put in there. There's that big monstrous Chevy motor. It's got to be a 428, 429. Something in rear axles with the drag bar. Then there's our undercarriage, which is the same as the stock version of this kit. And our underpan, and look at those big monstrous headers. Those are really cool. And there's our decal sheet with a little bit of pinstriping, Zephyr, My Way, and Poppin license plates. And our little teeny tiny red taillights. And that brings us to the end of our review of the 57 Corvette Street Machine. Well, my little Earth Angels, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box where we looked at the 57 Chevrolet Corvette Street Machine. And if you'd like to see the other cool cars on our website, please check out www.monster-hobbies.ca. We can ship around the world. So what are you waiting for? Anyway, if you like our channel, please subscribe here and check out these other three What's in the Box videos where we get to open up the lid on some other model cars. And until next time, have a good 